Hello guys, hello, my name is Yelena, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a circus theme cake. So we'll start as usual with uh, decorations. So I need to do a tent topper. I'm gonna cut it out out of foam core. So here's, I have, it's about uh, maybe a quarter of an inch thickness. I use it a lot for different other toppers and you can use it for boards. So I cut out my own template that I drew freehand. That's about the size I need. And I'm gonna go ahead and outline it. And you can use pen or pencil, whichever you like. This thing doesn't matter, it will be just a topper. So we don't need to worry about edible, not edible. All right, so just carefully outline it. Make sure your lines are straight, just like that. And you can save the template if you need. And we're gonna cut it out with X-Acto knife. I like to put my board somewhere above that I can, something like that, so I can sink my knife right through the board and carefully start cutting it out. It's pretty easy but you need to be careful of course don't cut yourself and don't cut anything underneath that you may be poking through so like above the table or bucket works just fine all right there we go some fuzz okay so that's our board, and sometimes the edges are not too straight, so you can always cut it with scissors. Do one side and I do other side. You can't cut right straight. It's not gonna let you. All right, so that's our topper, and I'm gonna have wooden skewer, and I'm gonna stick it right through to about halfway, so it's nice and sturdy. All right, and let's make a tent. So again, I'm gonna use satin ice fondant in different colors today. So the tents are usually red with white stripes or vice versa. So I'm gonna do the back side plain and I'm gonna make it just red and we're gonna decorate the face of it. Alright, for the face part, make sure your fondant as thin as you can. Well, not too translucent, of course, but very, very thin. That way the top are not going to be as heavy because uh, it's a lot of fondant on top. It will be um, very top heavy, so we don't need that, okay? Alright, so here's, I put the face on. We'll cut it out. So if you cut a little shorter than you need, like I did, don't worry. We can just run a rolling pin over, like so. Ta-da! Like nothing happened. All right, again, make sure you run your fingers on the seams. Make sure it's nice and sealed. You don't see any white peaking. Just like that. Okay, and I'm gonna pre-mark where all the details go. Okay. And I'll continue with all our stuff. Let's do the stripes first. And then the rest of the details. All for the glue, I'm using again, just plain water and a brush. So no fancy glues, nothing. It works fine for me. Just make sure you don't put too much water so it will be watery and it will be soupy. So just enough to make it tacky for us. That's all you need.
Now let's do curtains. For the curtains, roll your fondant as thin as you can. That way they will be more drapeable and will look prettier. Okay, so cut out, make sure they're all kind of the same. And again, use a little water. Gonna bunch them up. And go ahead, attach. So I'll do one side first. Okay, and cut any axis that you have. And I'm gonna mark a little bit. I'm gonna put the ropes on them too. So I'll mush a little to the side like it's draping. Okay. And now try to match the other side. Make sure they kind of look close. Just like that. Cut we don't need it. Okay, for the yellow, the ruffle part on the tent, I'm gonna use the scalloped cutter like that. And I'm gonna cut out the middle part using one of my circle cutters. I have a set that looks like this, very handy. Okay, so match the size. I think this one looks pretty good. Okay, so cut it out. So we don't need the middle part and I'm gonna cut our thing like that and try to flatten it. So just gently push it down and flatten it. And again with uh, a brush water a little bit to make it sticky and we're gonna lay this right over it like so. And we'll cut access that I don't need. All right, so here we have a topper. Ta da! now roll a little more yellow fondant and I'm gonna do a few stars I put some on wire to stick from the cake so I roll them a little thicker so they will stick on the wire like so and I'm gonna use paper covered wire number 22 They look like that and I'm gonna cut them in half or about in half if some pieces are shorter than the others that's not too bad because that way on the cake some will be taller some shorter so it's actually a pretty cool effect and I like to dip mine in water the ends um, the part that will go inside the fondant so because the wire is paper wrapped and then it dries inside the fondant it will get um, it will stick to the fondant and the star will not come off the wire now the fondant that was left over I'm gonna roll thinner and I'm gonna cut more stars and those thinner stars will go around the cake so that's why we don't need them too chunky and I kind of guesstimate how many I need, so I'll just go ahead and cut them out and a couple extra, just in case. And uh, I think that should be it as far as pre-making things. I'm gonna leave everything to dry overnight and we'll come and decorate cake tomorrow. 
All right, so this is next day and I already iced my cake, so let's decorate it. Using cookie cutter, I'm gonna find the center of my cake and I'm gonna try and make sure it's sitting even. I think that works and go ahead, push it in just enough to make impression. All right, so that's our middle of the cake. And after that, I'm gonna pre-mark where my stripe's gonna be. I wanna try to make it as even as possible. So I'm gonna mark it as a clock. So I'm gonna mark my 12 and six and three and nine. And then I'm gonna do two notches in a between of those marks. Does that make sense? So it will be 12 markings total. So just like a clock. All right. And I'm gonna roll red fondant, quite thin. Again, if you roll it thick, it's gonna be chunky. So we don't need to be chunky, we're gonna be nice and flowy. And I'm gonna eyeball it how thick I wanna have my stripes to be. So about like that. And again, I'm using the multi wheel pizza cutter. I love this one. It has a screw at the inside of it so you can adjust and screw it tight and it's not gonna move on you so that width will stay for all your work time which is pretty cool all right let's go ahead and roll our stripes so it cuts for me four stripes at a time and i need 12 so all i need just three passes okay and i'm gonna cut the bottoms make sure it's even all right remove the in the between cuts we don't need that and let's start so i'm gonna start at the, remember i found the middle of the cake and it created a circle so i start from that line and all the way down the side just like that all right, make sure it's all attached to the cake. That's why I run my finger down, make sure it's no gaps. Just like that. Nice and straight. the last one and you see I have extra ends at the board so I'm just going to have to cut them off just like that okay for the message I'm going to write this edible food marker a name so I'm going to use white fondant I'm gonna write the name and then I'm gonna back and kind of make it font like a circus or a carnival type of font.
cut it out shape with a pizza cutter. I like to cut lines with this cutter. All right, and I'm gonna cut the corners off. Just give it a little more something something. <laughs> okay. Just like that. And I think it's stuck to the table. Let's see, yeah. So let's go ahead and uh, straighten it out. Make sure we like the shape. And I'll help unpeel it like that. And I'm gonna line it with yellow fondant, all right? So just roll the fondant very thin, attach your message. Again, I'm just using plain water. Make sure it sticks really good, doesn't slide on us. And I'm just gonna cut out outlining my shape, but just leave it a little lip. So when you look at it, the yellow will peeking underneath. Yeah, just like that. See how it brightens the message? And I'll just stick it to the cake. Just like that. Make sure it's nice and even. Now using just a regular red buttercream, I'm gonna pipe a border on top of the cake to cover my fondant ends. So it looks nice and neat. And I'm gonna pipe the same color border at the bottom of the cake also to cover up and trim it up a little. I do like when it's buttercream cake, I do like to put the border. I feel like it finishes the cake and makes it looks nicer. What you guys think? All right, and once I have the red icing in my hand, might as well just use that. I'm gonna pipe a little dot at the bottom of each stripe. That will help us to attach our stars. Remember we made the stars yesterday? See, just like that. So that buttercream will help us to uh, make sure the stars stick to the cake. <laughs> All right, just like so. And now let's get our topper. So the skewer, make sure it's um, tall enough or short enough so they, it goes, the topper goes in a cake, but it cake doesn't carry the weight of the topper. So I needed just enough to get stuck on the icing on top and that's it. All right, let's stick our stars. So just arrange as they like them. I like them fan out from the back and coming down to the sides. Just like that. And that shall do it. All right, and this is our finished cake. This is the view from the back side, so nice and clean and very pretty to the front side. I hope you guys enjoy my new video. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up. I so appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye, I love you so much.